the way the story of Little Fred Riding Hood begins. Little Fred Riding Hood lived in a little woods in a little house with his little mother. As a lad, it could not be said that he was good looking. Not very smart, for he could only count up to one. Um, one? And he did that badly. But the one thing that could be said about Little Fred Riding Hood was that he had a beautiful voice and could sing like a bird. <laughs> and one morning, his mother said to him, Freddy, dear. Yes, Ma? If you don't stop that off-key singing around the house, I'm going to lay into you with this broom. But, Ma, Granny spent a fortune giving me singing lessons. Yes, I know she did, and I think it's high time we got even with her. Now, here, take this basket of sheet music and go through the woods to Granny's house. Sing to her for a change and see how she likes it. And so, taking the basket, little Fred Riding Hood skipped merrily off into the woods. Skipping is a very hard way to travel, and Fred was out of condition anyway, so a short time later, he stopped to rest. I will take five by this hollow stump. But no sooner did Fred sit down than he heard an awful commotion within that stump. Oh, ow, ouch! Ouch! Oh, my God! Ouch! Ouch! ouch. And there were two funny little men with high-pointed hats, and their long gray beards were tied firmly together. What are you two doing in there? We live in here. But our beards have become tangled, and I fear we'll have to go through life looking each other in the eye. Can you help us? Oh, being a good lad, Fred agreed to try. Hold tight. I'll rip you apart. Will it hurt? Oh. Yes. Bidding them farewell, little Fred Riding Hood continued on his way to Granny's house. Oh, he was a good boy. I think we ought to reward him for being so kind to us. Good idea. Let's cast a spell that'll make him grow more handsome every minute. And so they did. And so he did. For unknown to Fred, every step he took, better looking, better looking, and better looking, until he was by far the handsomest man in the country. Oh, what a handsome lad! How good looking! Oh, he's beautiful! Hi, sweetie! What's the matter? You all nuts or something? But looking at the reflection in a meat market window, he saw that it was true. He was good looking. Well, <laughs> if that don't punch a hole in the boat. The young ladies of the city were unable to control themselves at the sight of little Fred Handsome Riding Hood, and the poor lad was mocked. <laughs> you two funny little men are pretty funny. Now, come on, make me unhandsome so I can get to Granny's. As this was his desire, they changed him back to plain old Fred. That's better. Now, I'll give you my lunch of cookie sandwiches to keep you busy. No more tricks now. And with that, Fred once more set off down the road for Granny's house. Wasn't that sweet of him to give us his lunch? It certainly was. Let's reward him. He looks awful thin. Let's cast a spell that will fatten him up. They did. And just as before, with every step little Fred Riding Hood took, he grew fatter, fatter, and fatter, until he weighed over 700 pounds. Needless to say that when he stepped onto the high bridge that crossed the river, it collapsed with a roar. He did it again. And Fred waddled back to the hollow stump as fast as his obese little legs could carry him. All right, you guys, come knock it off. Hmm, he did get a little fatter than we figured. So be it. And Fred was returned to normal. Why do you two keep casting spells on to me? Because each time we've met, you have done a good deed for us. And that is our way of rewarding you. Some reward, yeah. It was now growing quite late, and Fred hurried off down the road, but this time he ducked behind a large tree a short distance away and waited until he was sure the two funny little men were fast asleep. I've got to do something to make them mad so they'll stop rewarding me, or I'll never get to Granny's. Knowing that the little men were very proud of their long gray beards, Fred stole up to the hollow stump, and with a snip of his scout knife, he cut them off. What happened? Someone cut off our beard. Who would do such a thing? I would do such a thing, and I did. So long, fellas. What a crazy kid, huh? Uh, what are you looking at? You. You're a... You're a girl. Uh, what are you looking at? You. You're a girl, too. How do you like that? We're a couple of little witches. And to think we'd never have known if that nice boy hadn't cut off our beards. We should reward him. That's a good idea. We'll cast a spell that will make a gold coin drop out of his mouth every time he opens it. And they did. <laughs> when little Fred Riding Hood finally reached Granny's house and opened his mouth to sing, instead of a lovely song, a gold coin dropped out of his mouth. Then another, and another, and another. And he paid off happily ever after, which you have probably already guessed is the way the story of Little Fred Riding Hood ends. <laughs> <laughs>